Excuse me. Can I help you? I don't seem to recall having an appointment this uh, early in the morning. Huh? Are you sure? Okay. If you insist. Let me uh, just get you logged into the computer here. Get a clock in for the day. Yeah, yeah, I know it's ten o'clock. Well, you got a problem? Okay, I'm a little late. All right. First. Can I get your name, please? Really? That's your name? Yeah, you don't you don't look like that. Age? Older than dirt, got it. Uh, for insurance billing purposes, I would uh, like to know your address. Okay. Can I get a work, home, and cell phone number, please? Okay. Home phone first. Uh, or your work phone. And your cell phone number, please. I don't know if you meant to do this, but you gave me the same number three times. Oh, it's all the same. I probably should have asked that. My apologies. I said it's early in the morning. Well, I know your age, uh, but I need your exact date of birth. Emergency contact, if you will. Yeah, the name, please. Phone number for them. And, uh, what's your preferred pharmacy? CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid. Mom pop store down the road. Okay. Are you taking any medications? Over the counter or prescribed? Okay, uh, well, which ones? Motrin, okay. Um, your preferred method of uh, contact so we can discuss the uh, results of this uh, examination and also send you that bill okay so phone I can also mail you a letter do you want a letter? postal mail awesome 
and uh, who's your primary insurance? They got good policies, they pay some good money. I'll give you the best care that you deserve. Okay. So. Cranial nerve exam. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. So we're going to get started here, but first, I kind of need to uh, take off these glasses. So uh, please excuse me, I'm a little sensitive to light this morning. Now, to start our cranial nerve exam, we're going to be going over a few different categories of your senses. I'm going to go over your smell, your optics, I'm going to check your face out, make sure you can chew, make sure you can taste, I'm going to check your hearing, and I'm going to finish up with a quick overview of you just to make sure that everything else is a hundred percent so first I gotta get your vitals you look like you're in great shape but I, I gotta I gotta take your blood pressure and and uh, listen to your, your ticker there Okay, first, I'm gonna need you to take a deep breath in and then let it out. So, deep breath in and let it out. Deep breath in. I would say that you uh, sound mostly good. Mostly. Okay. So can I please see your arm? It's time to do the pressure check. Great. Strong arm. Doing great. Fantastic. You sound great. You look great. You're probably in perfect health. Probably. Okay, so your vitals are good. I would say, in my personal, professional opinion. Now, we're going to 
do a quick smell test. I like to start out with the nose just in case it gets a little smelly later. I just want to make sure that in this current environment that you can smell. I did have Taco Bell for breakfast so I do apologize. I would like for you to smell this yellowish liquid. And I know what you're thinking. It's probably something nasty. Usually, I tell people that it's Mountain Dew. But I had a patient guess that I've had Mountain Dew in here when it wasn't. And it turns out their schnoz was bad. So please, if you will, take a smell. And now what would you say that smells like? Sulfur, yes, it's, it's stink bomb juice. You know, the little glass vials you throw on the ground, yes, it's horrible. But your, your sniffer works. If you said it smelled good, I was about to... Hey. Okay. Now, I'm just going to look at your nose. Okay. And I'm also going to measure your nose. That's one big sniffer you got there. Okay. Now I gotta look up your nose, I apologize. Before you come over to the doctors, you should maybe clean out your nose a little bit. There's some uh, boogers in there. Just saying. Don't be rude. Okay. Your sense of smell is good, your nose, perfect. Now we're going to start looking at your eyes. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put some eye drops in your eyes. Okay. i put some in my own too, you know. Get a little dry in there. sink in for a second. Okay. Now what I would like you to do is stare straight at me. Don't look anywhere else. Stare straight at me. And I'm going to look around your eyes. Okay. Those papers look amazing. You're doing great. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Your eyes look great. So now what I'm gonna do, 
guys, we're going to do a visual test just to see. Well, number one, do you wear glasses? No. Me neither. It's a recent improvement. That's the reason for the sunglasses. Yeah, not because I was partying or anything a few hours ago. Yeah, eye surgery. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that you can see these letters. If you can't, it's going to be a problem. Can you see that first letter up there? Fantastic. If you couldn't, I was going to say you're blind and I don't know how you got into the building. Can you read to me the third line? Perfect. Now, can you read to me the sixth line? Great. Now, what I need for you to do is cover one of your eyes. Okay, thank you. Now read for me line number five. Perfect. Now cover the other eye, please. And read that same line, number five. Great. So you're not blind. That's, that's just great. Now we gotta test your visual field. So what I'm gonna do for you now, I'm gonna hold up some fingers. And I'm going to hold up one up here, one down here, and maybe one up there and one down there. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell me exactly how many fingers I'm holding up. Okay. That was a that was a test. You you didn't say. Let's try it again. If I gotta explain it one more time. Count my fingers. Stay right here. Good. Fantastic. Don't be wise. Great. I'm just trying to keep it consistent. That was a trick. Your thumb is not a finger. Okay. You did pretty good. Now the last test. I'm going to take a flashlight. I'm going to shine it around your eye. But you're going to follow it. Okay. Very important. Don't move your head. Follow the light with your eyes. Just follow the light. Perfect, you're doing great. Follow the light. Very good. I said don't move your head. That's that's not good. Don't move it. Perfect. You did perfect. Okay. Next. 
next I'm going to do uh, some uh, jaw checking and then we're gonna try your uh, taste make sure that you taste properly now please do me a favor just sit perfectly still while I feel around your jaw some of this it does look like the last vial but I promise you it's not now you're going to open your mouth and you're going to tell me what you think this tastes like Sulfur, very good. It was the same vial. When did I have time to go get another vial? Aish. Yeah, you did good. It tastes like crap. Yeah, you did good. It tastes horrible. The next thing that we're going to do is focus on your hearing. But before I start, do you listen to any aggressively loud music or are you around anything at work or otherwise that would be considered loud by any standard? Yes. Okay. What do you listen to or hear that is loud? Music. Well, I can't say nothing. I listen to metal music. And, yes, it's loud. But, do you listen to anything else that's really loud? No. Just music. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, I've got this shaker here. And... What I'm going to do is make some gentle sounds around your ears. You need to tell me if you can hear it. If you can't, there are problems. Can you hear that? Perfect. For my last examination, I'm just going to give you a once over. I just want to make sure everything is there and works properly. That sounded wrong. I need to make sure that you are good. All right, let me see now. Let me see face. Now let me see your forehead there. Your chin. Feel around your throat. Good. Shoulders. Farm. Are 
it looked good in my professional opinion you have passed all my tests now if you don't mind I would really like for you to take a second and take another deep breath I realize that this may have been a traumatic experience for you so let's take a deep breath in together ready deep breath in and let it out now another deep breath in and let it out a deep breath in and let it out